Yeah, today is the start of week eight. Um, we've got a few days here to clean this all up, get ready for renting, and I'm gonna start weeding out the front. Yeah, it's my job, all out the side here. Borrowed my mate's lawnmower and just gonna give it a bit of a little bit of love. Hey. I got to install a couple of um, new exhaust fans. Another job done. Oh, yep. Oh, we're back in um, back in our backyard. Uh, we just went out to a wedding last night, and. Um, had a hoedown in our hometown. And out at Burrick up there, it was pretty good. Kel's uncle got married and um, yeah, it was a good, um, it was a good little party. And now my throat's really sore and got a bit of a headache. But um, yeah, we've got a heap of work to do today. So we booked it out pretty early. I got back here and um, Kel's already into painting some rooms, so uh, I'm just going to cook some brekkie. Got the, um, stuck down to the old farmer's market. Got the essential Sunday breakfast. And yeah, uh, the other day, got my mate's car trailer. So I've got to hook the, um, chuck the old Valiant on that and then that's going to go up to Perth I'll probably do that in the next couple of days this afternoon I go pick up the um, the tinny uh, it's about an hour to drive north so go grab that for Savo and yeah that's about it but first off it's um, it's brekkie time because I'm hungry And I've um, just realised I'm too late for Sunday mornings with Macca too. Bad times. Mm. Yeah, just driving uh, an hour's north uh, of our place and just going to pick up the new tinny. Uh, yeah, just got the fold up boat trailer in the back, uh, fold it up. And just going to load it on that. I haven't, um, I'm not going to modify anything on the roof yet until I've got the exact measurements of the boat. It's about 
but uh, there's not much exciting really happening this week, um, other than Gary and Nikki's wedding last night and uh, picking up the tinny. <coughs> other than that, it's just getting this house sorted and Kel's going like a demon and painting at the moment and just uh, cleaning it all up. It's going crazy, so it's awesome. And so that's why I'm just doing a solo run up to Perth, or halfway to Perth. Um, the old tinny was great and um, took us on some awesome uh, adventures over the years, but uh, this new one is one I've been looking for for a long time. But it's a bare bones, two seater, 3.6 metre wanderer, um, with a, like a V-nose pump. So super stable, um, you can stand up on the seats and cast and that, which I couldn't do on the old tinny. And being an only a two-seater instead of a three-seater, it's got a heaps more room. So yeah, can't wait for this boat, and um, it'll be a good thing. Even though we can't really afford it, it's, um, it's just what you're gonna do. And lucky Kelly is awesome, and she um, and she lets me do stupid stuff like buy boats when we can't afford boats. <laughs> picked up the new rig it's pretty sweet I am stoked <laughs> I've got a I've got to properly fit it on the trailer I didn't really want to piss fart around there too long the old fella had to go somewhere but um yeah it's uh it's pretty sweet it's only uh five about five kilos heavier than uh, the old tinny, it's going to be so much better. Oh, I just thought I'd pull over and check, uh, check out how the tinny was travelling. It's a bit of a fucker because you can't even, um, you can't see it in your rear view mirrors when you crank it along. So, it's a little bit sketchy. And, yeah, just hoping it all sort of holds together. Yeah, I'll keep on trekking and uh, see how it goes. I had to adjust the trailer a fair bit um, previous to the old tinny. The old tinny was so V even at the back. This one's so flat. So all the settings I've had to change. So yeah, you're supposed to actually keep those support guides up off the tinny itself. Um, it's supposed to be supported off the weight in the middle there. But yeah, as you can see, they sit pretty close to the ground. So I just have to keep an eye on that. It should be okay. Unless I go over big rocks. Yeah, I am super stoked. I'll get back on the road. It's so weird not having to see it. I can't even see a shadow. It freaks me out. Yeah. Good fucking times. Good times. If we get a new boat. Shiny. <laughs> it is, eh? It's very shiny. I'm so glad it made it. Yeah. Yeah, that was um nearly a catastrophe. I um the cord snapped. Cause good old doofus me, I ran it through here to try and pull it down a bit. Cause it kind of kind of pulls it up. Anyway, that was a close call. I won't do that again. My bad. Cheers, Cheers. to the new boat. Cheers to the new boat. Yeah, the sand shandy. Mm. Dribbling it everywhere. <laughs> Have you been an alcoholic for a while? I'm so tired. <laughs> Tonight we're cooking. Squid rings on the fire. Cheating. Go 
show you a good thing. Uh, I need to get me fry pan. Got shit scattered everywhere at the moment. This is the best fry pan. Uh, it's one from uh, Hillbilly. Oh, that end. She is a weapon. So uh, I'm just going to load up the, um, the big girl and get it on trailer. Take it up to Perth tomorrow. Bit of a weapon. It doesn't go anywhere. But uh, yeah, one day. One day. I could drive it on the trailer would be super handy it has no brakes and 500 horsepower so that's not going to happen just in case it's got a winch on the front of the trailer i'll just slowly yeek it towards that and should get it on there pretty easy To my cousin's place this afternoon. Uh, Kel's been painting, painted most of this. Gonna paint the kitchen today. So, yeah, still not jobs that, um, yeah, we've been meant to do forever. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Just been cleaning windows yesterday, nothing really exciting. Loaded the Valiant up. And um, and yeah, today is probably going to be one of the biggest days. Just um, uh, tomorrow we get the real estate agent here to do all their photos and whatever their whole report thing before they hand the keys over. Kel's <laughs> oh, just broke the chair. <laughs> nice one. No, oh. lucky they're going into the bin this afternoon anyway in the trailer. Oh, you just chuck them out the front, actually. Every everything, um, everything you don't want. I don't know. Quite an advantage to living in the hood. Yeah, in the ghetto, you put anything out the um, front there, and off she goes. Big girl's off to a new home for now. All right, too easy. I'm off. Right. You good? See ya. Drive safe. Roger. We made it. The big bow. It's in my cousin's workshop here. Surprisingly, all the straps held on pretty good. Uh, so yeah, just made it back from um, uh, Rolly Stone at my cousin's um, workshop. Just dropped off the Valiant and book, booked it home. Um, it's Halfway to 10 o'clock. Uh, so yeah, picked up the 
um, bull bar as well, which we've, I had delivered at my cousin's place. So that only took them seven months to make that, which is great um, because the company was in COVID lockdown about 20 times over east. So that'll be something to fit in the next uh, month or so in between house sitting and traveling around and cray fishing and whatever. But this is the end of week eight. Eight. Shit. But yeah, once uh, we give the keys over um, tomorrow or the next day, and once that's done, it's um, it's done. Living our best life. Yes. Anyway, uh, I'm really hungry. Yeah. And look at that. Boom! Pizza. Hang on. Hang on. What is, what is that? <laughs> that's just, that's the weirdest thing ever. Cheers. Cheers. Lovely.